Hey guys, it's Ryan with AIinsidertips.com and in this video, I'm going to show you five different ways that you can use ChatGPT to improve your content creation. So whether you're a content creator, a marketer, or even a small business owner who needs to create content for their business and doesn't have the time or resources, this is a perfect video for you as I leverage ChatGPT every day to create content and I'm gonna show you some of the ways that I've been doing this and having success with it. So uh, before we dive in here, if you haven't already subscribed to AI Insider Tips, I would truly appreciate that as I spend hours putting together these AI and ChatGPT tutorials so you guys can stay informed in the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. So diving into the first way that you can leverage this tool for content creation. Now, the first way that I always love to use AI and tell people about AI and ChatGPT is ideation. If you don't know where to start, if you have writer's block and can't think of any content ideas, the very first step is should be using this tool for ideation and what sort of content that you should create. So let's use a real world example. I need you to be an expert in YouTube, content marketing and ideation. I have a YouTube channel focused on AI tutorials and need your help. What are some video ideas that an audience interested in AI would be find valuable and be willing to share or subscribe to my channel? Provide a bullet list of 10 video ideas and a one sentence explanation of why you think it's a good video idea. Now, of course, this is not your use case, but you would simply find and replace whatever your use case is. So if you're a small business owner who uh, owns a tire shop, you would be looking for content ideas tailored around getting new tires or why you need new tires or just general content ideas about tires. Uh, same for, you know, a local barber. You look for content ideas on different, you know, barber topics or whatever the topic is that you're trying to get content for, you can simply just replace the context of this prompt for your specific use case. So uh, let's see what ChatGPT came up with. Beginner's guide to machine learning. So beginner's guide videos are good for those that are new to this technology. Top five AI tools for content creators. Very good idea. You could even take this and use the listicle format for anything. Top five AI tools for productivity. Top five AI tools for SEO. Top five AI tools for writing, social media. You see where I'm going with this. This really helps you get the juices flowing with ideation. How to build a chat bot. How to content is pretty good. AI and marketing, exploring AI, top 10 breakthroughs, um, AI ethics, automating data analysis, the future of AI. So anything about predictions or trends, that's a good content idea as well. Um, but long story short, guys, I mean, you could even follow up here and say, uh, create five more content ideas related to five best AI tools. So if there's one out of here that you really like or like the format of, you can then expand on that. So five best AI tools for video editing, five best AI tools for social media, customer support, data visualization, marketing campaigns, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You can literally ask this tool for anything to keep expanding on ideation and it's really endless. And that is the number one use case for content creation that you should be using ChatGPT for is ideation. So the next way you can leverage ChatGPT for content creation is repurposing a YouTube video into a blog post. Now there's various ways you can do this, um, but in this example, I'm gonna use the following prompt. I need you to be an expert in content creation, marketing, and repurposing content. You'll notice a similar trend here, how I always like to attach a persona at the beginning of my prompts to let ChatGPT know, hey, you are the expert. And when it knows it's the expert, it will typically provide better advice. If I provide a transcript for one of my YouTube videos, can you repurpose that video into an SEO optimized blog post using at least a thousand words? And you can add more details here if you want, H2, H3 headings, professional writing tone, FAQs, uh, outline. I mean, you can add as many details as you want. But what I did here is I, I took one of my YouTube videos, five chat GPT hacks to improve your responses. And then what I did is I copy and pasted the entire transcript. And then I came back here, pasted the transcript. And based on this transcript from my YouTube video, it analyzed this and then generated an SEO optimized blog post from that entire YouTube transcript. Five chat GPT hacks to supercharge your productivity. So it even changed the title. Uh, so here's an intro, hack one, hack two, and it even provides the exact prompts that I used in those videos. Hack three, hack four, hack five, gives a conclusion. And then if I wanna edit this, add FAQs, do whatever, you can simply follow up with it and do whatever edits or suggestions that you have if you're not satisfied with this response. Now, the one disclaimer here that I will say, and I've always had this with long form content on ChatGPT, is do not just copy and paste this long form blog post onto your website and click publish. I would highly 
highly suggest you add a personal touch, whether that's screenshots, other images, videos, other forms of media, uh, reword some of these sentences in your own words, um, just so you can differentiate that, that it's actually polished by a human being because you're not going to get very far copying and pasting blog posts on your website if you're trying to rank from an organic SEO perspective or build trust with an audience for that matter. So uh, circling back here, guys, that is the second way that you can leverage ChatGPT for content creation is by repurposing YouTube videos into SEO optimized blog posts. So on the same topic of repurposing content, the third way that you can leverage ChatGPT when it comes to content creation is repurposing long form content into short form content. Now, what do I mean by this? So what I just did is I went ahead and took this blog post from the past example. I literally went ahead, copy and pasted this, and I pasted it here and I said, I need you to be an expert in content creation, marketing and repurposing content. If I provide a blog post, can you repurpose into the following? five social media posts for LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter, an email for my weekly newsletter, and any other form of short form content that you want to include in there, you can. So I went ahead and pasted that blog post, and here is what I got. It gave me some social media posts based on this long form blog post. So here it uh, categorizes by LinkedIn, boost your negotiation skills, unlock new business ideas, summarize long articles, right? It adds emojis, it adds hashtags, and you don't have to do that. You can then come back and say you don't want that. Um, it gave you different uh, posts for Facebook, for Twitter. And then here's a, a template here you can use for a weekly newsletter based on that long form blog post. Hello, and then placeholder of the name. I hope this email finds you well. It gives you a subject line um, and you can simply use this, tweak it however you want. Um, and then let's say here, I don't want hashtags or emojis. Don't include hashtags or emojis in my social media posts. And then once you do that, it should go ahead and rewrite them as it's doing that right here. Um, so if you don't like what it's writing, you can always come back and follow up and say, make this post shorter, make these posts longer, um, add this to the post, add an example here to the post. So you can tweak it however you want. The point I'm trying to make here is this really streamlines your processes as a content creator by taking a long form blog post and then asking ChatGPT to analyze that and then chop that up into short form posts that you can then post on social media, on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook. Um, you can do some Instagram stuff if you want to. I mean, whatever your channel is of choice, that's not the point here. Um, it's really using this for efficiency to take one piece of content that's longer form, leverage AI to chop it up into shorter form and then distribute that however you want. I do this all the time on my LinkedIn, for example. I use blog posts that I write myself or videos that I create myself, tell ChatGPT to analyze my YouTube transcript, my blog posts, and then help me generate social media posts. And then what I would do is I would look at these posts. I won't just copy and paste them. I'll maybe polish them, add my own personal touch to them, and then I'll publish them. So it uh, really helps me streamline my content creation to make sure that I can get a lot of content out on a consistent basis because that's something a lot of content creators, especially small business owners, struggle with is putting out a lot of engaging in content consistently. Consistency is the key for content creation as many content creators do know that. So Again, I'm sorry for rambling, but circling back, that is the third way that you can use ChatGPT for content creation is repurposing a long form blog post into short form social media posts or an email for a weekly newsletter, whatever the context of your email is. So the fourth way that you can use ChatGPT for content creation is through generating AI images with DALI. So in this example, I said, if I provide social media posts, can you generate an image that's related to the context of the post to improve engagement? Don't include text inside the images and make the size optimized for social media. And then what I did is I simply came back here and I copy and pasted basically the social media posts that I got in the previous example. And I said, create images. So then what I could do is take these images, download them, use them with the, with the post. So I could copy and paste this post on my LinkedIn, for example, and then use this image within that post. Uh, Cause social media 101, typically if you have an image or a video in a post, it's gonna go farther than just doing simple text posts. That's That's been typical on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, um, because they want you on those platforms longer, images and videos help accomplish that. And then I did it for this example of negotiation. That's a pretty good image for negotiation post. 
I did another one for unlock new business ideas. That's a pretty cool image you can use on social media. And I did another one for repurposing content and that's what they did for repurposing content. So uh, this is a shorter example guys, but long story short is you can leverage the AI image generation capabilities inside ChatGPT with Dali by simply copying and pasting a social media post, a blog post, a YouTube thumbnail, excuse me, a YouTube title, YouTube description. And you can then use these images to post on your social media platforms in addition to the copy that it generated for you as well. So another good use case here for content creation. So the fifth and final way that you can leverage AI, and this isn't ChatGPT specific, but leveraging AI to improve your content creation is repurposing long form videos into short form videos. Now, my favorite tool to do this is called Opus Clip. This is becoming a very popular tool. There's other tools out there that do this. Um, I have a full tutorial actually on Opus Clip on my channel. I'll leave a link to that in the description below that'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to use it if you've never heard of Opus Clip. Um, but what this does is you give it a long form video and within a matter of probably 15 minutes, it chops it up into 15 to 20 short form video clips. And why this is so revolutionary and cool in my opinion is it doesn't just chop it up into any clips, is it goes, it uses AI to analyze what the tool believes have the most potential to go viral on social media. So YouTube shorts, TikTok, LinkedIn, uh, Instagram reels, Facebook watch, um, all sorts of platforms that, you know, love short form content because short form content is a big deal now. It's not going away. We all have short attention spans. We all know this if we're watching this video, um, but this is what it does. And it also reformats it in that vertical format optimized for mobile. Um, and then it even adds subtitles. So I'm going to play a quick example of what it just did from a long form video that I uploaded from my podcast and now chopped it up into 15 individual podcast clips. Here's a quick example. I mean, I guess in terms of content creation, you know, it's capture as much as you can. Um, take your camera with you everywhere. So you see how it has the subtitles that it automatically added there too. Um, and it even has an auto schedule feature. So if I click this, you can integrate your YouTube account, TikTok account, LinkedIn account, um, and you can even schedule this out. So the benefit of this too, is if I wanna go back, there's a calendar feature now. So what you can do is actually schedule out all this short form content for months and months on end. As you'll see here, I have content scheduled out until July 10th. And the day, today's June 15th as I'm recording this video. Um, so this is just a really cool additional feature that they added is the content calendar. Now, uh, circling back here, I'm not gonna go you know, into the weeds of Opus Clip, but the fifth and final way that you can leverage AI for content creation is by repurposing long form videos into short form clips. Perfect example is if you have a podcast versus one podcast episode on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, you can use a tool like Opus Clip to chop it up. You now have 15 video clips. So in addition to those long form platforms, you can now leverage the short form platforms of YouTube Shorts, TikTok, Instagram Reels, and get yourself out and expose yourself to new and different audiences. So the last thing I wanted to mention when it comes to using ChatGPT to create content is you can also leverage the custom GPTs that are available without us even going in and prompting the tool. And I believe these are available to all users of ChatGPT, whereas previous it was only available to the plus users. So correct me if I'm wrong in the comments there. Um, but what you can do is you can search for anything you want up here. You can search the entire store. Uh, so if I search content, you can see all the custom GPTs tailored for content or you can scroll down and look at trending, or even better, you can look at writing. So there's a write for me, there's an AI humanizer, um, text to video maker, automated writer, video generator, book creator guide, cover letter, uh, copywriter, branding ads. There's so many different custom GPTs available. And I've used this one in the past. This is a very good one. It has over a million use cases, this AI humanizer does. Um, so that's the final thing that I wanted to show you is you don't have to prompt these tools like I said in this video. You can leverage some of these custom GPTs that are already available and that will speed up your process even more when it comes to using ChatGPT for content creation. Now the very final thing I wanna tell you about before I end this video is I do have a free guide on the best AI side hustles that you can leverage to make more than $5,000 a month in passive income online. I've personally used these side hustles that I outline in this guide myself 
You can find this in the video description or pinned comment below. It's completely free to sign up. I've had a lot of positive feedback on this AI side hustles guide. And again, if you haven't subscribed to AI Insider Tips, I would truly appreciate that, guys. I really appreciate you all being here. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you all have a great day.